Imagine choosing to read a book without knowing the title, the author, or even seeing the cover art. Who would do that? Well, we would. This is the Page One Challenge, where we find out if only hearing a book's first page is enough to make us want to read that book. Of course, after reading it, we will reveal the title and author. Are you up for the challenge? Let's see. Page One. She's up there. A man with a camera pointed up at the top of a nearby skyscraper, just as a figure in a bright green spandex bodysuit launched itself over the edge. The man sprinted toward the base of the building, another man with a camera taking off down the street. Had the second man not bumped into Talus, he likely wouldn't have noticed the commotion on his walk to work. After all, none of the other passers-by seemed concerned. Talus watched the man for a second, following his gaze over to the figure in the spandex bodysuit as it was plummeting to the ground. What the hell? Talus yelled at the man, who was steadying his camera on the airborne figure. The man simply grumbled and shot him a sharp look before quickly returning his attention to his camera. The figure was getting dangerously close to colliding with asphalt, and Talus couldn't understand why nobody around him seemed concerned. If anything, most people still didn't seem to notice. Somebody help them! He stared in horror, his paralyzing dread only beginning to dissipate when the figure's fall gradually slowed until it was at a complete halt, hovering about ten feet off the ground. He ran over just as the first cameraman stood from his post. When he stepped closer to them, he could hear giggling. Did you get it? A woman's voice asked as the person in the green bodysuit pulled back her face covering to reveal her smiling face. Upon closer inspection, Talus could see an expensive-looking bottle of perfume attached to her green chest. How? Talus muttered aloud. He kept staring, taking a moment to realize the thin, clear cables keeping the figure suspended safely. I think so. We'll have to see how it looks in post, but I think we finally did it this time. Excuse me, Talus pried, keeping his voice soft. The cameraman from across the street returned to his buddy, shouting something about a badass lens flare. When he realized Talus was talking to them, he stopped mid-sentence. Sorry for bothering you, Talus said, but I was just wondering. You're creative anchors, right? What exactly are you guys working on? We're not allowed to disclose that information at the moment, the CA in the bodysuit answered promptly. It's okay, I work for Ms. Iris too. I'll probably be logging data for this footage later in the week anyway. I just wanted to get the inside scoop. The CAs processed for a moment, clearly not recognizing him from the office. It didn't really surprise Talus that they had no clue who he was. After all, he usually stayed hidden behind his computer just doing data entry. It's just a perfume ad for Lorenzico, the CA in the bodysuit pointed to the perfume attached to her. We're trying something new to see if we can make it look like it's falling from heaven. Talus's face lit up. He wanted to ask a million more questions, but he bit his tongue. The last thing he wanted was for Ms. Iris to find out he was distracting her precious CAs. That was page one of Thieves of Joy by Jen Guberman, published by UGM Publications in 2021. This is how Jen described the book to me. Thieves of Joy is definitely a slower burn sci-fi drama, but once it starts burning, it doesn't really stop. The intro of the book leads with the quote, Comparison is the Thief of Joy, from Theodore Roosevelt. Throughout the book, you follow the story of a man who grows discontented with his own life because he starts comparing his to that of others. It's a slippery slope that leads him to try REM, a drug that lets you customize your hallucinations. That's it for this episode of the Page One Challenge. If you like this podcast, please subscribe and tell your friends about it.